coach, you know, really came out and struggled to, to make shots in that first half. I think y'all were shooting low 30s. Y'all had hit just one three-pointer, struggled on the free throw line as well. But it just seemed like in the second half, something was clicking. The defense kind of led to it uh, as well. But what did you feel like was the difference was between the first half and the first, you know, five or so minutes of that third quarter? Yeah. I, I'm not so sure that all those shots were bad shots, and, and sometimes you got to be ha careful how you evaluate, you know, a possession. So we had multiple attempts right around the rim, kickouts for multiple threes, and it just didn't go in. It's, you know, eventually if you keep on taking the right shots, it's going to be okay. I wasn't worried about that, but I was worried and and just how we looked at each other and how we were talking to each other, and there and there wasn't. And I know this is the third game and, and whatever, but there just wasn't like a good energy that I felt in that first half um, on that court. And so in the in the second half, for sure, the, I mean, you could just see it. They are huddling up together. They're talking to each other. They're supporting each other, make or miss. And it, it goes a long way, like, like a little bit of positive reinforcement from a teammate goes a long way. And, and I thought, they they inspired each other, and then as usual, the defense uh, off oftentimes can spark the offense. All right, we'll go over to Stefan next. Stefan, you're up. Yeah, you kind of mentioned there, you know, some of the looks you guys got. I mean, it wasn't even just the jumpers. It kind of felt like even the layups couldn't fall for you guys. What, what were you guys? I, I just I guess just telling your your players in terms of you know trying to keep their confidence up when when a shot's just not falling. No, just, we never want to be the victims. I mean, we, we dictate offensively and defensively, and, you know, some nights that goes in, and sometimes it's contagious, and it, and it just rolls out. And, and we've got to be able to respond and play when the ball's going in in a mature way and, and when it's not going in, and you stay in that fight and you battle, and, you know, eventually it'll come around your way and, and play, play the game that we want to play. All right, well, Robbie. Come back to you. We'll have a few more after him. So cue your, cue your hands up, please, if you got questions for Coach. Yeah, Coach, no Rakia tonight. Um, I know she was on the bench and looked to be in good spirits. Do you have an update on her status? Uh, I don't. Uh, we should find something out tomorrow. It was more of a precaution than anything else. Uh, all signs look good, and uh, and I'll, I'll just leave it at that. Um, it. It's a diff It's different when she's not out there for sure. Uh, she she did add value on that bench. She added value in that locker room at halftime. Uh, you know she's she's a big part of what we do, offensively and defensively. But but just also, you know she's been through a lot of games here at Mississippi State. Um, so we'll we'll find out tomorrow. It, it was more just being extra cautious for this game. If I could follow up on that too, Ashley Jones was out, and I know you still have the other Hayes sister, and also Mia Morse still out. Do you do you anticipate getting those uh, girls back soon, or um, what's what's all their statuses? Yeah, I, I think there's a manager that turned his ankle too, and I could use you know one of them. Uh, we'll we'll take anybody right now. That bench was really short, and and I'll shorten the bench sometimes on my own, but this is not something that that I wanted to do I mean these are all we're just we're being as cautious as we can trying to keep people as healthy as we can for the long run um, but uh, yeah hopefully we're going to start getting some more of those bodies out there because there's way too many kids on that on that bench that aren't playing right now all right we'll swing it over to Colin and then Stefan will finish us off go ahead Colin Hey coach, you've been rotating a lot at the five position, and uh, I guess I wanted to ask, are you happy with what you've seen from kind of the team effort at that position? Yeah, they're starting to form an identity to, together, the three of them, and uh, there are certain matchups that are better for certain games, but I, I've, I don't see a game where we're not using all three of them, and, and they all have different strengths. And uh, we started Raven tonight, and, and she did a, a, a pretty good job on the boards. And, and more, than, more than anything else, she did a pretty good job talking to her teammates. And, and again, she's a, a transfer, and she's trying to find her way, not, not in the game of basketball, but you know, just 
in relating with the teammates. And you never know until you face, you know, some adversity on the court, how they're going to respond. I thought we did a nice job against South Dakota State, and now we had a little bit of adversity, you know, missing a lot of shots, uh, missing a couple key team members, and they weren't be able to be out there on the floor playing with different lineups. And, you know, after a while, they I think they know more than they think, and but it's you just have to go through it. And then and I think you saw in the third quarter, they just started to play and, again, look a little bit more the way we wanted to, and they spaced the floor offensively. They, we had people running to corners so you had room to make plays. In the first half, we would have three or four people running down the same lane just looking at each other, but that was a communication problem. And if we're not going to communicate, we're going to look like that in the first half. And so, you know, I like to learn lessons, and I like to learn lessons and win. So hopefully we're able to, to build off of that first half and see the difference between a first half and a second half, and particularly that third quarter when we just spaced the floor the way we were and then defensively uh, played with more passion, energy, and, and giving each other good juice. All right, go ahead, Stefan, wrap us up. Uh, Anastasia kind of alluded to this, um, you know, just playing these three games this week. Obviously, you guys get a week off now, but, you know, it's, it's really early in the season. But what does it kind of mean to you to kind of see your team almost in this tournament-type format where you're playing so many games in one week, you know, you're shorthanded too. Um, do, do you feel like you learned something from that, you know, just – just being so early in the season? Yeah, information is so valuable uh, to every team in the country, but maybe even more so for us uh, being new to this game uh, at Mississippi State and, and new with each other, and, and it's kind of a new team. So the more information we can get, and so there, obviously there's practice information, but then there's game information that we're able to put together and, and teach through film. And, and develop and, and there's really no like I said there's no system here that we're married to we don't have to do anything other than share the ball uh, stay in front of your man just you know some simple sound things offensively and defensively but they're able to tell us a little bit you know what we might be able to duck this person in on this block they're showing us some different skills that we may not have known that they had so we're, we're watching we're watching them develop we're watching how they deal with adversity so you know having three games like this is a is a valuable tool and teaching tool and it's also valuable for the information that we have moving forward to learn more about them as players and people